Grand Theft Auto 6 just got some huge official news. It looks like Rockstar Games is in the final stretch of development, which could mean things are ramping up for more details to be revealed and possibly even the game avoiding a delay. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So this is coming from Jason Schreer over at Bloomberg. I will leave a link to the article in the description. If you're unfamiliar with Jason's work, he has had reputable Rockstar Games info in the past particularly on Grand Theft Auto 6 and the details before we knew anything about the title, like that it was going to be returning to Vice City, featuring a female main protagonist and a whole lot more. Long story short, Jason is 100% Credible. And this was the title of his article. Grand Theft Auto maker Rockstar Games asks workers to return to office five days a week. Going on to say, Rockstar Games, a division of Take-Two Interactive Software, Inc., will ask employees to return to the office five days a week, beginning in April, as the video game maker enters the final stages of development on its next game, the hotly anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6. So I'm gonna do my best here in this video to focus on Grand Theft Auto 6, the development and what that means. I don't feel like I'm in the position to have a proper opinion on the pros and cons of working from home versus returning to the office, as I've never worked in an office. I've been in the very fortunate position of doing YouTube for almost like 12 or 13 years now since I was a teenager. And so because of that, I don't I don't want to inject my opinions on something that I don't feel like I really am allowed to have an opinion on because I've never done it that way. So I will leave it up to you guys in those comments down below on everything we discuss in this video today, but let's continue on with the article. In an email to staff on Wednesday reviewed by Bloomberg, Rockstar head of publishing Jen Colby said the decision was made for productivity and security reasons. The company has faced several security breaches, including a massive dump of early footage of the new Grand Theft Auto and an early trailer that leaked in December. So you can understand the security reasons part of this. I feel like Grand Theft Auto 6 has suffered a massive amount of leaks, whether it be the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer releasing early. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with work from home or like a rogue YouTube employee, but I do know that the early footage that was revealed back in September 2022. The hacker was able to get access to that because of a program that Rockstar Games employees used that allowed them to more easily work from home where they could transfer files and communicate back and forth from their computers at the office. And if they are entering the final stages of development, you can best be assured that Rockstar Games doesn't want any more leaks to happen on Grand Theft Auto 6. And as far as a productivity standpoint of things, if they are truly in the final stages of development, you can only anticipate that they are really gonna start ramping things up in terms of trying to get out this game and could possibly lead to not having a delay, which would be awesome. Now, the article goes on to say, Colby wrote that the company also found, quote, tangible benefits from in-person work, saying making these changes now puts us in the best position to deliver the next Grand Theft Auto at the level of quality and polish we know it requires, along with the publishing roadmap that matches the scale and ambition of the game. So obviously I do not work at Rockstar Games, so I can't tell you about what tangible benefits that might be for working in an in-person office at Rockstar. But according to Rockstar, it puts them in the best position to deliver the next Grand Theft Auto at the level of quality and polish it requires, along with a publishing roadmap that will match the scale and ambition of the game. So essentially what we're getting at here is Rockstar Games is seeking perfection all the way around, not only with the game itself, but how things are going to work really in the next year or so as we lead up to 2025, the release year of the game. And I feel like that is something that has been echoed from the top and their parent company, Take-Two Interactive. We've heard from executives like CEO Strauss Zelnick that has said that Rockstar is seeking perfection with Grand Theft Auto 6. They basically have to because all the titles they've created have been absolute you know, blockbuster hits. And so because of that, in order to guarantee that perfection, it looks like they're making all of their employees return to the office. Now, the article goes on to say, return to office mandates have been a hot topic across various industries since the pandemic forced myriad employees to work from home. And more recently, many employees have asked staff to return to the office for two or three days a week. And a study last month found that remote work 
did not have an impact on productivity. If you guys are interested in that, that's also on the website Bloomberg. I'll leave a link to it in the description. The title is Remote Work Doesn't Seem to Affect Productivity, Fed Study Finds. And the last thing the article goes on to say, the issue has been particularly controversial among video game workers thanks to the volatility of the industry and its lack of a centralized workforce. Many of 2023's biggest video game hits, such as Marvel's Spider-Man 2 from Insomniac Games, were developed remotely. So let's focus on what I believe to be the positive here. It doesn't look like Rockstar has come across any speed bumps or blockades in the development of Grand Theft Auto 6. In fact, it seems to be going so well, they've now calling it entering the final stages of development. That is huge. And this is good news for two reasons. Number one, possibly this means Grand Theft Auto 6 could avoid a delay. That is something that has pretty much plagued every Rockstar Games title going back to Grand Theft Auto 4. But also number two, this could indicate that Rockstar is ready to really begin the marketing phase for GTA 6. Yes, we have the official trailer, we have things like the official description, artwork, and logo, but we don't know anything really else about the game other than what we're able to divulge from the leaks and the official trailer. But maybe this means Rockstar soon will be willing to give us more trailers, screenshots, information, previews about the game to get us ramped up for Grand Theft Auto 6's release. And in order to do that, Rockstar feels it's best to have all of their employees in the office five days a week, Monday through Friday. And that is certainly going to be the most controversial part of this entire thing because Rockstar as a company have always kind of been shrouded with a little bit of controversy in terms of how hard the employees have to work to make these amazing games, the long hours they have to work to sort of seek that perfection. And really last but not least on Jason Trier's social media platform, he actually tweeted out or X'd out the article. I don't even know what you're supposed to call it these days. Saying new Rockstar Games is asking all of its employees to return to the office five days a week starting in April for security and productivity reasons as they enter the final stretch of development on Grand Theft Auto 6. And then in quotes saying employees are not thrilled. And that's actually something we're going to be talking about in a video a little bit later on today. And Jason Trier kind of followed up to some of the comments. Someone said just because some have embraced doesn't mean they all need to, right? And he said, depends if they want to keep up morale and retain talent. And in case you guys are slightly confused, he's not talking about the normal Monday through Friday work week. Everyone is still doing that. It's a matter of full return to office mandate during an era when many other companies have embraced remote or hybrid work. That's what he's talking about there. Not the fact that employees are having to work Monday through Friday. Everyone still gets Saturday and Sunday off, at least relatively speaking. So I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below on everything we discussed in this video today. The good news of Grand Theft Auto 6 seemingly entering its final stage of development but at what cost for Rockstar and its employees? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.